Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today has a super interesting build coming along. We have the framing and the electrical getting done. It is super cool because now that we have finished this project, we only have two more things before we can start living out of the van and doing Midwest van life stuff. We just have to do the walls, ceiling. That's one project. I think it'll take a weekend. And then after that, we got, we're got we starting to build the furniture to put in there. So the bed, the um, countertops, the cabinets, all that fun jazz. It's coming along super quickly. I am so excited that we are almost done with this. If you guys could, go down and hit that subscribe button. We are going to have some super interesting videos coming out for this year. Just a little preview of what we're doing. In May, we're going to go to a drone event, a giant drone event with lots of drones. We're also planning on going to Italy. I'm buying the plane tickets for that really soon. And of course, we're starting van life. So there's going to be lots of cool, interesting videos coming out really soon. If you guys want to check any of those out with me and the doggos, um, go down and hit that subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post. Besides that, definitely hit that like button. Leave a comment if you like our electrical, like our process that we did. And at the beginning of this video, I just want to explain this is not a tutorial video. So it's really handy to have these videos online so I can go back and take reference to them so I can go back and see what I did so I can go back and fix my current mistakes that I'm having because I can watch what I did. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's project. So the next step, this might be the one that's for over there, but I think it is. Let me grab the other one. First step into doing the frame is these little foam boys had these guys in right there in the middle. They also had one up here. So to take those out, I got this little guy. It was able to get underneath there and rip it out pretty easily. It sits just like that. It was awesome. So, went ahead and did that on both sides and it did expose our airbags. We're gonna build a wall this way for when we do that. It's gonna go here and then it's gonna go up so we don't lose headroom and then back down. So it's gonna be like a, a C shape, a C shape or like a hill. So you're like a little kid drawing a hill. Like a, yeah. So, we're gonna do that there, but first we're gonna start on the actual walls and we're gonna do the framing there. Okay, so to do the framing, we're gonna get two of these guys, okay? I have two different lengths. One for that length, so we have this. And we also have these little guys, which I bought first, which we will line up here and screw into that. We're gonna lay these across, just like so. Right here is where these guys can fit perfectly. So it bows right here. There's a pretty big bow, but that's totally fine. We're gonna screw into the top, screw into the bottom here. And I might build or cut some little pieces and put in between here so that way it has something to catch onto there. So that's the plan with that. Then we're really just gonna get screwing. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill some holes into the wood before I do that. So like I said, these are half an inch thick. So to compensate with that, I have they are one and a fourth flat Phillips metal screws, okay? We're gonna screw these into there, so that way half an inch gets taken up and the rest can go in there a little bit. After the framing, I'm gonna triple check one more time that it's leak proof before I start doing all that stuff. I just wanna guarantee it. Um, <clears throat> we did have a small bit of like, seriously like two drops of water in here, and I don't know if that was from my shoes or from something else, so that's why I really wanna check. I wanna make sure that there's no leakage. And then, after that, then Garrett's gotta come by. He's not here right now. He's gotta come by and run wires. So then we're gonna run wires throughout the whole thing, and then we're gonna put outlets in and put in our walls. So, that is the plan for today.
Okay, so we have our first pocket screw in. <clears throat> we screwed into here, down here, um, for this screw, and then this screw screwed into the top. That moving is kind of shifting ever so slightly that way. There's a little bit of movement, but I think it'll stop once this piece is connected to this piece. But it's in there strong. I'm moving the whole van, and it ain't going nowhere. So, pocket screws for the wind, baby. Now we're gonna move on. We gotta pull one there. We gotta pull one here. So we got a few more to do. I'll come back, show you guys when those guys are done. So, I just put this board in. She seems sturdy, but I think it's an illusion. So a lot of the screws actually cracked the wood. I think I'm going with this guy. I think I'm a little too short and it's getting a little close, a little too close to the edge. So Garrett went ahead and popped these two open or part. So that way I can get like whatever distance I need and we're gonna redo it. But all of my batteries for my drill are dead. So that is gonna have to be it for tonight. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys in lickety split. Lickety split, here. Yeah. Okay, so we are back next weekend. And I went ahead and fixed this bad boy. It's a lot more sturdy now, not gonna lie, this was not fun. But she's installed. Does move a little bit, but I think it's gonna be just fine because it's only holding on like the little bit that's up here, does that make sense? So it's gonna hold on to the top part of this. Um, now that I think it, well, I should've put it up here though. Okay, so I had moved this guy up. Like I said, I wasn't gonna do, I did it. Um, it does a couple things for us. For one, it's a lot more sturdy than what it was down here. Uh, that's probably because we were able to fit two more screws up here because of these holes. The second thing it does is it allows us to put plywood on top of it and it makes for a perfect shelf. I was kind of having issues figuring out how I was gonna do that. I just figured it out. So, we also got it level. So, that also helps with the shelf part. Nice and level. We can put things up there now. I'm still a little confused how I'm gonna put the wallpaper on here, but I will figure that out at some point. So now we're gonna do a couple more of these guys and I'll show you guys that, like I said in the last clip, in just a second. Okay, so we are finished up with the day. I wanted to show you guys those um, pocket frames that I was doing, these guys. Um, I went ahead and cut up some little guys and it made it super, super strong. So that is the, the full plan for that. I'll show you the other side really quickly. And this would be the other side. So we got it all connected up with that. It gives us a nice frame for the inside of those little divots. And like I said earlier, I want to make sure to utilize this, you know, whatever amount of inches this is on both sides. So that way I have a little bit more head and feet room because I barely, and I'm six foot and I, um, I touch the sides of the walls on the bottom. So if you look, we got some things there, but let's see if I can get a good connection here. So, down here is farther out than up here. You can see this 2x4, it's all, I mean, it's per almost perfectly flush there. So, the fact that we have that little bit up there by the 2x4, that's going to give me a little bit more room for my head. Okay, if you guys could go down and hit the like button, go ahead and leave a comment if you would like. and. If you want to see another couple go on van life, the difference with us is we're going to be doing a lot of animal related things on the road. So if you guys are interested in that and you want to see that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. You can also hit that bell. It'll notify you whenever we post a new video. We are almost done with the conversions. We are doing our electrical tomorrow. So we are about two or three steps away from being completed with the van. So make sure you do not miss out on any of those amazing videos coming out this year and the years to follow. But let's get back to this. 
Okay, so as you guys can see, we have completed the framing in the van. Everything is completely framed out. We even have the ceiling framed out. I didn't show you guys the start of that, but that was really, really simple. I will show you, we use these guys right here, and it is a fourth of an inch by two feet by four inches, and it's just super flexible wood. You can see it's not breaking as I do that. I could probably snap it in half. I already finished, so we're good. But this is what we used up on the ceiling there because it kind of bows and we didn't want it to not bow and be straight across it would we would lose a little bit of headroom and i want to keep all the headroom we possibly can with that being said we bought some bendy wood we got all of it framed out we do have as of right this second these pieces down here those guys on the other side over there it's not quite done, so I have to do a couple more of those, but I'll finish that up tomorrow. You guys can basically just know we're 100% done with the framing. We do have a little bit more installation I gotta do, so I'm gonna do that as well as putting in those couple strips on the other side. That side over there has no insulation so far, so that's super, super exciting. I do want to point out a couple things real quickly. So we went ahead and put in these little supports here. It allows for these things to be super, super strong i put all of my weight on all of them to make sure these supports worked really well i even have a couple more pieces that i'm going to use just to have some extra support because why waste the wood when it ha can serve a purpose you can see the top they're all basically the same the top we went ahead and angled cut it and we drilled some pocket holes and we just screwed them into the top and then we screwed them into the supports down at the bottom some of the angles were kind of hard to get. I don't know why I was having such difficulty with them, but some of them here you can see have uh, smaller framing pieces on the bottom to help give it just an extra half an inch, a fourth of an inch um, to reach the top. So they're all perfect right now. I can pull on all of them. All of them work really well. They have a lot of strength and integrity to them. After the electrical, I'm going to go ahead and put Luan up, and the Luan is going to act as our sub wall and then we're going to basically just put wallpaper kind of things up it's going to be like vinyl um sheet sheet vinyl so i could just basically glue it on there and then like i said we're going to use the inside of these pockets here as a little bit of storage but mostly it's going to use for me to have an extra about two inches on both sides my head and my feet when i sleep i'll be able to fit perfectly right there so the bed or the couch is gonna go up to there so that way the bed can just you know fit perfectly right across there so with the electrical Garrett's gonna do that tomorrow we do have our handy dandy inverter here it is a 2,000 watt output so we went ahead and did a test on the Jackery and we plugged in everything that we basically use so that includes we plugged in two switches two phone chargers two computer chargers a TV we went ahead and tested all the things that we could use besides kitchen utensils and the max output we are producing is like right under 500 watts so 2000 is overkill which i like let's go ahead and cut to the electrical part uh, okay so it is tomorrow just a couple seconds for you guys but garrett is already started on the electrical we have a total of seven outlets going in a couple of them are usb and regular outlets um, while Garrett's doing the electrical, I am on the side of the van that you guys cannot see. I'm plugging in a couple of those framing pieces that I said I needed to do. So that's getting plugged in, and as soon as I'm done with that, I'm going to go in, and as you see at the bottom, down here, right here, uh, I have a lot of insulation to put in. So while Garrett's doing all the wiring and stuff, I am doing just miscellaneous things that I forgot to do. So, yeah. Okay, so a little update. We have, I have all of the framing 100% done now. Like I said, I did in last clip. Now it actually is 100% done. And while I was doing that, Garrett got our first outlet in. It is right behind the driver's door. It's going to be a kitchen outlet. But we can show you where the other outlets are real quickly. Sorry for the movement. So that's the driver's side. Um, we're going to have uh, this top one up here. That is a light switch that's going to control the lights above right here and then this one over here 
is just a regular outlet and so is that one um, it's going to be the exact same thing on the passenger side right behind the camera this side is also going to have two outlets and a light switch just like that side does um, it's going to also control lights above so we're gonna have little lights there and then we're gonna have another light switch over by the sliding door behind the passenger seat that's going to control the overhead lights and most of the lights but if we don't want all the lights on then we can hit these two lights it'll be a little bit more dimmer we are coming along i will show you guys once we have all the outlets in you don't want to play the music in the background we get copy straight no there probably will be other music on in the background but if not then it's just going to be us talking about random shit <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and test out the electric. Garrett is hooking the battery up to the solar charger. And now we're gonna bring the giant inverter that I bought and we're gonna hook that up. And then we're gonna hook my phone up because believe it or not, this is the cheapest electronic here. Okay, Garrett, I'm plugging the, the Cuban. Give it back work. It's not going in. Moment of truth. Charge. Or here, let me unplug it and plug it back in so you guys can see that pop up. So there we go. Garrett has successfully did it, not up to code. So four more boxes need to be put in and then he has to fix one of them because it's not going to work over there by the kitchen. But I will see you guys tomorrow when we have all of the outlets, all the insulation put in. So we're going to go eat. Catch you guys later. Okay, so we're doing a little midway update here. Garrett is almost completely done with the electrical. He has now just finished the last outlet, so he's just gotta do some touch-up things and he will be finished. I, as you can see, still have quite a bit of work to do. And yes, I've been working almost as hard as Garrett has. I'll give Garrett um, some, some benefit of the doubt. He's been working longer than I have. I've been taking a little bit of breaks. And I've just noticed I have gorilla glue in my hair um so that'll be fun but i have the almost all of the ceiling done that's why i have gorilla glue in my hair i've been using my head ow i seriously might just cut that out uh <laughs> so um i'm gonna go in there and finish that up I do not think we have enough insulation for the entire van. Right now, if you go up in the right-hand corner of the screen, you can see a video. Um, we thought we had more than what we needed, but I've been putting a lot, and I mean a lot of insulation inside of the holes down here on each side at the bottom of the van. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna buy a little bit more to finish it off. I think I have enough to do, I definitely have enough to do the roof, and I probably have enough to do this wall right here that you guys can see this wall is just about finished there's a couple more pieces up top that i want to put in um and all that i want to make sure garrett's electrical doesn't need to work that hard for the ac and the fan i want this thing to be insulated like crazy also while we while i'm talking to you guys right now i was having qu uh thoughts on how I'm gonna put a piece of wood right here because um, I want to save some extra room. And I've already, I, I came up with an idea. So there is some room behind the two by fours that are used as supports up and down. The one right here, this guy. There's some room behind that on both sides and I'm gonna go ahead and slide the plywood behind that and make some pocket holes. And I'm gonna screw the frame into the plywood. I hope that made sense, but if not, you guys will see in next video what I mean by that. But um, yeah, that's about it for right now. So I will get back to work and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up tonight. Uh, recording wise, I'm gonna do a little bit more work. I'm gonna go ahead and install the rest of this insulation that I can do. While doing the electricity today, I've realized I needed to do a little bit more framework. So it's mainly in these pocket pockets here. Okay, so what needs to happen is I'm gonna put a two by four along the top here and I'm gonna screw it into these boards here 
so that way it makes these boards a little more stronger but it also allows me to put the lights in here i'm gonna put three lights in here three lights over there also i'm gonna put little two by four pieces coming out ever so slightly if you know what i'm saying so that we're gonna build little shelves basically kind of three shelves here i'm gonna build uh, but i'm gonna see you guys next weekend when i finish up the rest of this framework Okay, so we are back, hopefully, for the final weekend of this project. I'm hoping we're gonna be able to done, be done with the video by today or tomorrow. I think we're gonna have to come back and get a couple more shots tomorrow. But we are finishing up a couple pieces of framing that I have to do. Now, I have more insulation coming. I have 20 more feet coming, which is about a little bit more than one more bag. The reason I did that is because I have to finish up the walls a little bit and then I also have to insulate around the wheelbase. So last weekend we attempted to plug in my phone and it worked but then we attempted to plug in this guy which outputs quite a bit more amps it outputs 6.6 .6 amps and that was too much for the battery so it flipped a breaker basically now we're going to test it out and see if it works this time okay. i would say garrett has fixed our problem with that allowing us to use everything like you know instapops and tvs and stuff like that so that would conclude electricity is 100 percent done this is the second divot behind the driver's side the window is right here but this guy came kind of loose okay you can clearly see what's going on i don't like that so on this side i cut out a piece of wood and it is going to go there i have a mallet another piece so I can beat this in and again I have this piece which I'm gonna screw in one up there one down there and then one in here so that way it kind of secures this piece a little bit more so I'm gonna move the camera because it's kind of in my way and I'm gonna screw this piece in and I'll show you in just a second I'm not gonna act like it was easy in any of the sense I actually messed up and had to get another piece of wood here but this wood is super strong it ain't going nowhere but this has a little bit of leeway to it and a little bit of creaking noises, but it might be this screw right here that's loose now. Um, but I think with me pulling and putting most of my weight on it, you know, putting 100 pounds of pressure on it, at least, I think it's gonna be okay, especially as long as this cabinet that's gonna go right here doesn't hold anything like heavy, like if it holds clothes or dog harnesses or you know, it shouldn't hold like dog food, maybe not, not like my camera stuff or my iPads. I mean, it's really not going anywhere. I have quite a few screws and if you see right here, so screwing into this guy, I used, it was my test dummy, figuring out what drill bit I needed. So there's a few screws down here, these three that don't actually do anything at all. These three are all screwed into that piece of wood, trying to make it more strong and sturdy. It works pretty well. Um, I'm gonna call it good how it is and I'm gonna move on and start doing other things like I said it's still pretty god damn sturdy I mean I'm pulling really hard on it I'm not faking it okay so it is now Sunday we have everything in place how it should be as you can see we now have little pockets so we can put our phone so this is gonna be blocked off by a wall and it's just gonna be a little pocket perfectly that we could put a phone or something like that in there um there's that and then we've also got the wiring finished so all of these outlets now work they can run my table saw um, on top of that they can charge my phone and all of that so we have this project is now complete we're good to go um yeah 
roll the outro. Okay, so that is it for today's video. Today, we are currently, as you can see right now, we are cleaning out my mom's house. So we are taking all of the stuff that we don't use currently, and we have a storage unit. We're gonna go put all that stuff up in there, cleaning out the garage. Um, a lot of the stuff that we haven't used for this bad boy, but we have bought, is going into that storage unit so we can get it out of the way. And so that way when we make our big move, it's just not, we don't have to deal with it already. It's already out of the house. But thank you so much today for watching our video. It was a super exciting one because we we're getting really, really close to finishing up the van. We only have a couple more projects to do, which makes me so excited. As always in every single video I say, you can go down in the description and you can see a bunch of links to shelters to help dogs. You cannot buy love, but you can always adopt it. There's lots of dogs in need. Go ahead and check one out. You can support by donating, adopting a dog. If you want to get a dog, do not buy a dog, always adopt. That is going to be it for today's video. I appreciate you guys so much for checking out. Go down and hit that like, comment, and subscribe button if you haven't already. It's super helpful to me. Liking and commenting helps the algorithm. It helps YouTube push my videos out to more people so more people can view me and discover me. Like I said, with subscribing, I know we're doing renovation videos right now and it's not super exciting, but we are getting super close to leaving. So we're going to have really, really cool videos coming out soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.